It's Gorillas in the Mist kind of conditions that greets us in the city of Roses, Art in Bloemfontein, perhaps for one of those days where history could repeat itself. It's been a bit of an impossible task over the last couple of years. You'd come into this fixture already knowing what the result is going to be, but given how things have been over 2022, it's not so easy to decipher that. Yeah, so look at the rankings. Um, with Aranya Macy's School sitting in number one, um, Unisi in number two, St. Mary's in Waverley number three, and a Fort Tracker Bedroom. Three free state schools amongst the top four hockey playing schools in the country say something about just the quality and depth of uh, school goal hockey in the free state. Good luck to each one of you. May hockey win. Let the game begin. Our two umpires, Yonalka Swanepoel and Tristan van der Spey, who are going to be in charge of today's game. I knew um, Yonalka Swanepoel was going to be able to, never knew Tristan van der Spey was going to do duty tonight. It'll be interesting to see how the two of them go about things. Um, Yonalka with such a strong and uh, almost a fierce personality. Tristan more of a calm, placid and uh, content guy, so they should complement each other really, really well. Van der Spey indicating time, requesting the TD to give us the go ahead and then we're off. Unisha obviously looking to dominate territory early on, going with that um, overhead. Now Unisha through Barnard again. Is that Annabelle Fenter carrying for Unisha? Strong carry of the ball. The daughter of uh, former great. Shot on goal. Cool. First opportunity that I decide have had, and it's right in the back of the goal box. And what a turnaround it has been for this Unisha side. As we see what happened here, the ball coming out the right hand channel and doing what every coach would have coached the player back in primary school to run the baseline and run it hard. That 45 degree ball coming back in on the angle and one shot, one goal it is. And Unisi had the advantage very early. We're just three and a half minutes into this, the first chucker. Currently the better team in terms of possession. Now we're only looking to attack again. Finds the player. Unisi oh, sitting down on that tackle, but now Aranya taking the first shot. Great save by the keeper. Run probably looking to do a little bit better now. The Tomahawk comes out on target. Great save by the goalkeeper. Yeah. Now Aranya on the run again. The ever present spur shot now. If she gets into the D and pulls the trigger, it's danger. There she is. There it is. I tell you what, the many a boys would love to be able to finish the way she just did. It was a phenomenal Tomahawk she pulled. Guy the keeper had no chance. Commits on the run as we look at the replay here. Uh, pulls to the left. Those long levers definitely not going to miss from there. Janssen van Rensburg looking to take matters into her own hands as a captain. Carries the ball into the circle, but well defended only momentarily because it's again in the back of the goals. It's a fantastic finish. It's shot straight across goals and it's at bottom right hand corner once again that has been targeted. Looks like it is Zoe Erasmus who's picked up the finish for that goal. Would like to stop this. Augustia in the middle line. It's not going to count. Not going to count. Well, that uh, first shot on target has to be um, going into that backboard, and unfortunately, that was lifted, so that does not count. It's all about the safety of players and what it comes down to. Now, running the attack is the enter again. Solid tackle. You can almost call it a two-goal turnaround with Kayla Willoughby sticking the ball into the back of the net. And now Uranya on the charge from one side of the field straight to the other. <laughs> Goals on both sides, but only one going to be allowed. It's probably all of those. Um, you're at home, you're playing a final for the first time in a very long time at home. And now as we see Augusta attacking to the outside. She will to burn her with pace here as she goes. Makes that commitment <coughs> inside one, sorry. She keeps going. Fair. There it is, JD! There it is! The talisman, the, the talent, the, the myth, the legend. We've spoken about her for a very long time and she proves herself yet again to hear Augusti. What an incredible finish. I have numbers in for Ronnie at this piece. He stopped the ball nicely. Oh, dust the flick a little bit, but those also sometimes works out. Great save by the Unisi goalkeeper Lillian Tron. Keeps her team in the game with 15 minutes to play. In the fourth and final chuck, it was a bit of a double, almost a triple save. 
but she's done fantastically well as we saw all the numbers coming through for Moronia but messes up on that initial drag second save, third save and here comes the fourth save to keep her team in the game and the Antron doing the business for Unisi 10 seconds now to repeat the heroics as the countdown starts the ball call is get the ball into the middle but unfortunately unable to do so and the siren's going to go the final whistle is going to go the hugs are going to come out because Monet Wollendal has done it yet again and he's been able to reclaim his title despite losing the game with early on in the season you can see just how much it means to these Urania ladies for being able to turn around a result that did not go their way earlier this season Definitely, Sam. I think uh, deserved winners, the deserved league winners um, at that uh, obviously made most of their opportunities tonight and that gave, gave them the advantage of uh, scoring three goals for the two of Unisi. I mean, Unisi would look back um, on this game and who the opportunities they had been. The plenty of circle entries, just uh, no touches on the ball, um, no forced outcomes and uh, something that Nicole probably looked to, to do better and improve on going into the next season. It was a third